Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. So we're here playing another brick in the mall. I've been wanting to play this game for a little while and I bought it the other day and I played it for about half an hour just before just to kind of get the hang of it. So we are going to go into a new game. We are not going to go with the tutorial. Um, we'll have normal research. Yep. Um, I haven't played with this and I kind of want to but I might just leave it off for now and I might put on mild shoplifting that way we can get the like security people so we're just gonna start the game um obviously oh my gosh okay um obviously if you haven't played this game or if you haven't seen this game why can I not zoom out that far anyway so basically the plan is to build a giant mall and I can't zoom out to show you because it keeps going black but there is a humongous plot of land and we get to build on it. So, uh, what is this? I know I don't have any research because I don't have an office yet. So we're going to go into build. We are going to build a foundation. Um, this is the hard part for me, like starting out. I never know what I want it to look like and what I want to do. But let's just build a little... I say little and then I go to a massive square. Um, maybe let's build like a little supermarket. Like here, and then we'll build a little storage room, I guess, maybe there. Um, walls, can I put a wall in there now? Yes. Okay, so we have a little person showing up, but they are going to get straight on into that. Um, let's build a road. We'll put a bit of a car park in. Why can I not zoom out that far? It's so weird. It's never done that before. That's never done that to me before, and I've been playing this game for a little while now. So we'll just put a little road in. Um, I might just join it up there as well. So they are going to get on with building this. This is going to be our little store. Um, I was playing it just before, as I said, and I, I kind of ended up with a little store and then a fresh food store. But you can build like restaurants, bowling alleys, theatres, stuff like that. So I'm thinking if we start off with a supermarket here then it might be a good move. I know there's a lot of like, not a lot of malls, but some malls do have a supermarket in them. There is one near me that does have a supermarket. So we're going to kind of go with that and just make it like a decent sized supermarket because I don't want to build like five of them. But yes, we're going to get this going. Any minute now they will be done. Yay! Can you, can you please finish the building though? Okay, so we're just gonna put that on double speed. We're gonna go get our objects. We're gonna get a double door, maybe over here. That looks like a good spot to me. And then we'll get a staff door and another staff door over there. So then we can go into the assign bit and this is where you designate what is what. So this is a store. And this is storage um, and then we just go into manage I think go store sign storage and just click on that and then we've got that store you can change all the opening hours and stuff I'm gonna leave it like that as it is for now and then we can start building so I don't really I want to put my checkouts in first um, damn I should move that door Actually, it should be fine there. So I want to build, like, my checkouts over here. So I'm going to have one, two, three. Damn, that is quite a big area. But that's okay. We can just start off small and then build later. So we're going to get a food shelf over here. One, two, three of them. Maybe four of them. And then can I rotate these? No, I can't. Okay. And then I might just leave a bit of a gap on that bit just for that door. And then, well actually I want to put in a little fridge. I don't know if they can... Oh yeah, that's fine. So we can just go... I don't really know what I'm doing in the shop, so... I don't know. Let's get this one, okay. Can I, if I put things here, can they buy them off it? I don't know. We're going to put them in now. And we can find out later. And then I want a little fridge. Just at the end of that one. This person will hopefully finish all that soon. And then we can put in some customer parking. Because that is going to be needed. 
So we'll just pop that there for now. And we are going to need some, like a loading zone as well. So I want to put this maybe there. Yeah, we'll pop that there. And then we can put some staff car parks. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that one. Put staff there and then put a loading zone there. Cool. So that looks good to me. Okay. So we are going to put on this one. I'm just going to go through and put one of everything if I can. Um, oh. Breakfast, cereals, snacks, yum, cookies, bread, sauces. I really don't know if people can get to these ones, but that's fine. Um, this one, please. No, this one, please. Thank you. Coffee and tea. Pet food. And then maybe just some bottled water. And then in the fridge we don't have anything else we can just put some soda I guess that sounds good to me why am I fast forwarding this say okay so we go manage store one stuff okay so we need to hire a store clerk person so they're the ones that obviously put the things on the shelf um you can tell when you're hiring for people it has like the little bar of what they would be good at and their different I guess attributes um I think for a store clerk this one of these two um, I'm going to get this one because she looks a lot more friendly. So she can work her in normal hours. And then we'll get a cashier. Who's the best at cashier? Uh, let's get Mia. She sounds like a good one. And depending on how the first day goes, I don't, like I might end up having to hire more cashiers. I know I have three checkouts, but I don't know if I'm going to need them from the very start. But that is okay. So we have that. Sweet. So I'm going to fast forward until the next day because not much is going to happen until then. And then we can see how our little store goes on its first day of being open. So it is the morning. We have some of our staff already showing up. Here's what's her name? Mia and Carol. So we have Mia and Carol already here. Um, the store opens in about half an hour. She is... What is she doing? Why is she not going through that door? Why are you doing this? Maybe I should get rid of this one. That might make it a bit easier for them. So we'll just remove that one. Because I don't even remember what was on that one. But that is okay. Yeah. Okay, so we are open. Um, we have our first customer. Who is Who is she? Dawn. Thanks Dawn for coming in. Um, and obviously we just have all the deliveries coming in. We have our lovely little store clerk stocking our shelves. And yeah, we're not doing too bad with only one cashier. But again, it is our first day, so not many people are going to come in. Okay, now, now, we need, now we need some more. So I can't do anything today. Anything that I change will take effect tomorrow. But I'm going to hire another cashier now. Just so we have another one. Let's get Hillary in. Um, I think I might just get her to do like six hours and she can start at 10 maybe maybe even start at 11 and do five hours I don't know part of it's trying to figure out how long you need people for and also like trying to manage the budget so up here we have our profit we are not making any money today I didn't think we were it did take me a couple days to in my other game that I was playing what is this the queues are full so people aren't wanting to queue up which is fair enough but tomorrow we will have another person so that is good and yes I will pick up tomorrow okay so we are open again um, I did extend the store just a little bit overnight and they built this little office just for good old Ben over here, I think that's his name, to do some work. Um, that means that we can do research. So at the moment we are researching how to research, I guess. Um, and obviously the more people we employ to research things, the faster we will get things. But at the moment I'm not too fussed about it. I just kind of want to get the cold foods eventually. And then I can expand my little store and have like a little produce area over here. 
which I think will be quite a nice touch. I can put some more shelves over here if I want to as well. Um, and see, I think I might need another cashier for tomorrow. So go back into manage and we go over to store. You can also name the stores. I don't have any ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. Um, we are going to hire another cashier um, who is probably Spencer. He can be a cashier. Um, I think he can do the same shift as, what's her name, Mia, I think. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, and then he will be in tomorrow, so these people won't be getting so angry, because that does not look like fun. Um, and our car park, oh, I don't know why it's doing this to me, but that's okay. Our car park is going pretty good, um... I kind of want to put like a tree in there or something just so it looks a bit nice. So I might just leave that little patch. Store is closed. Um, today we made negative $299. So we're doing great. But we lost less money than we did yesterday. So that's, you know, that's what's important. So we're just going to fast forward through to the next day because nothing interesting happens overnight. I might build some things but... It's not super interesting so yes okay so we have our two cashews here in the morning which is good and I think one of the other ones should show up about 10 yep there we go so we have all three of our tills open and operational now which should hopefully get these people through a lot faster and hopefully we won't have people getting annoyed oh our research thing is complete so we have researched how to research so I'm gonna go and do the cold chain so on every one it tells you what it will unlock for you so this will give us fresh fruits fresh veggies meat fish milk and dairy so we're gonna do that one because I want to set up like a little freezer section over here and a little produce section over here I think that would be quite nice so I might actually put in another fridge where are they they're up the top somewhere just another one there and then we can put some juice in it, I think. I think that would be a good idea. Cool. We'll just put some juices. And then we will have even more stock and it will be great. Yeah, see, we, we're good with our cashiers at the moment. Oh no, as soon as I put in more food... It's going to get a bit busier, but that is fine with me. So all of our workers are here. The store is about to open in about 20 minutes. And I'm just building a little road up here so I can put my garbage as well as my staff parking over here. Um, I just think it's a bit tidier if it's kind of around the back. Um, and then I can get rid of those ones and just pop them as normal parking. So hopefully that won't take too long. Um, this store is going pretty good. We have our little little man over there. He's doing his thing. Just researching stuff. Um, our car park's not too bad. We still have a couple empty, so that's good. Um, and we're just... We're doing pretty good, I think. We, we aren't failing. We've got a cute little, cute little supermarket. Um... What floors can I have? I looked at them very briefly before. I kind of want this like pink one. What does it look like? There's so much money. I don't think I wanted this actually. Oh damn it. Well I've already put it down there so now I have to put it everywhere. Okay. There we go. I might actually put this this one down for the chilled sections. Actually I don't like that. Let's just use the grey one. It's too grey. Oh no. Okay. White. There we go. So we'll use pink as the main one and white as that one. I actually might just change it to this grey. That would make a bit more sense being in a supermarket. Now it just looks really sad though. Okay, well I've I've already done that, so we have to stick with that one. Um how much how much to reshoot? Well, I can't talk. How much research have we done? So we need 16 hours left. Okay, I might go into my manager and just get him to do like 10 hours. He can start at 7. Okay, he can do 11. That's fine. Um, 
Okay, so that should hopefully bump that up to six. Okay, so we should get it done in like three days. That's fine. Um, I might just... No, I don't really want to hire another one. Um, today we lost less money than we did yesterday. We're doing good, guys. You know, we're soon we're going to get into the profit. So that is, you know, that's what counts. That's the most important thing. Um, I'm probably not going to do any building overnight just because I want to save my money. And that does obviously lose me money and I don't really need to at the moment so I will just pick up in the morning. Yay we are here in the morning and I think we are doing really well actually. This is a cute little supermarket and I love it and hopefully we're gonna get this guy. Let's go over here. He looks like he has vampire fangs. Um, what is she doing? Is you just playing on your phone? Um, I guess I don't have any work for you so that's fine. Um, these guys are doing really well. We don't have any super super long queues anymore. They're just kind of like three or four people, which is nice. I'm liking that. And we have enough stock on the shelves. We have enough stock in our storeroom. We have enough car parks. This is just going really good. Um, hopefully I didn't just jinx that and hopefully everything doesn't die now. But okay. Here we go, we are closed. Yay. So I might leave this part here and we can pick up next time and hopefully we'll have the, what's it called, the chilled foods sort of thing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you thought and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.